Hi, my name is Mike and I'm a design master. And today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about the expert Harley Davidson Fat Boy. This is a roughly one six scale version of a Harley Davidson Fat Boy. That's a motorcycle that got released in 1990. We've made the dark red version of their newest model. We have the rubber tires, we have a working engine, we have steering, we have all the detailed exhaust, the lights, the license plate, uh, even down to the levers for the brakes and the shifters. We usually start out with just an idea in someone's brain. It was actually uh, one of my friends, Carl, who had the initial idea. Actually, since he ever started at LEGO, he'd been saying to me, we need to do a Harley Davidson in Creator Expert. My plan was to just keep telling Mike to make a Harley, and eventually that would happen. And usually that works because he's got this really long brain, and if you tell him the same thing over and over again, it'll get trapped in there somewhere. He was saying, oh, a motorcycle will be really cool because you have all these details like the engines, the exhaust, all the fuel lines and everything. You have so many cool details that you can build, and then you can actually make a lot of the functions work as well. And Harley-Davidson is just a really, really cool brand to work with. When we got more into the details of the model and trying to get these things right, we actually took a trip over to Milwaukee to meet with Harley-Davidson, and then we could see the bikes in person and start to understand all the proportions in three dimensions instead of just in the two-dimensional drawing. The Fat Boy is really unique because it has solid cast rims. So it's just like a one giant dish. It doesn't have any spokes. And we didn't have any piece that could represent that well in the Lego model. So we actually had to get uh, Manny, <laughs> the main Manny Zamani to help out on this one. And he made, us, he made us a new rim element that we could use on both the front and back of the motorcycle. That is, really does a great job of capturing that iconic uh, look part of the reason it's called the Fat Boy is that it doesn't actually have the same tire in front and back. The front I think is 160 millimeters, the back is 240, so it has this really fat rear tire. And what Manny was able to do was he was able to make a rim that we could use in the front once, in the back we double it up and that makes an extra wide rim and then we put a new wider tire over that combination of two rims to form the whole rear uh, wheel assembly. What you see here is um a design process for the patterns of our fat boy rear tire. So we wanted to actually have the same design style of the previous slim tire replicated in our fat tire. On the rear number plate we have 41, that's actually a manufacturer's license plate that's used by Harley Davidson in Wisconsin. On the instrument cluster we have the odometer and that is set to the birth year of guy who works at Harley-Davidson, his name is Casey, and he's the designer of the 2018 Harley-Davidson Fat Boy, so the real motorcycle. We put that in because we actually worked really closely with him when we developed this Lego model. There's a little detail on the bottom of the engine on the low side that's a reference to the original designers of the Harley-Davidson Fat Boy released in 1990. In the 1970s, we actually made a small police Harley-Davidson motorcycle. When we started this project, the first thing I did was I went and found that model and was just taking a look at it, uh, seeing how it was built and kind of seeing, can we pay some homage to this model in this new big Harley-Davidson that we're doing? And one of the things that we really liked about that motorcycle was the way it used these space rockets as the exhaust pipes on either side. So in the Fat Boy, we actually use airplane engine piece. And it's a very similar looking piece in both feel and functionality. And so we use that as the exhausts on this motorcycle. At Harley Davidson, they are so proud of the engines that they're putting into their motorcycles. And we really wanted to capture that in our Lego version. We actually built up an engine with working pistons. It has a working crankshaft and working pistons, and then that runs all the way through with a small transmission of gears and then through a chain to the back tire. It was really fun to have that extra level of authenticity in this model. If you build the model, you'll see the engine block is made of like 20 different elements. So every time two of those elements come together, you have a little bit of difference in tolerances. You kind of can create these edges where things can catch. So we needed a piston head that would slide smoothly even with all these uh, imperfections in the bricks. So I spent about a day just wandering around. We have this huge section of the building that's just uh, an element warehouse or library. So we have all of the different bricks just in these bins. And I went through every shelf and it was, I'm not even making this up, it was literally the last shelf. 
I found this spool piece that we normally use to attach string, like in a Lego City helicopter when you have a rope, and it just fit so perfectly in the model. And I remember, like, I remember finding that piece in this top stock, and I know it's silly, but like, I, I teared up. I was like, this is gonna be amazing. I don't think Mike ever goes outside or actually does anything in the real world. He basically, he doesn't know about something until he's made a Lego product of that thing. So he'll get completely obsessed with motorcycles. I've never driven a motorcycle. I'd love to try. Um, when, when we visited Harley Davidson, uh, we just got to sit on some of them. And in my mind, a motorcycle is like a little bit bigger version of a bicycle and it's nothing like that at all. <laughs> as soon as you put your foot over and you feel this, this thing that you're on top of this, the, the fat boy weighs 300 kilos. As soon as you feel yourself sitting on that, you just think, okay, this is, this is a serious piece of machinery and it's just a fascinating piece of engineering.